Praise God. Good morning, everybody. It's Adam with Team Jesus Preachers here. Uh, praise God. We are at the Times Square Church. Man of God, David Wilkerson, going on with the Lord. <clears throat> Many of you uh, have been impacted by David Wilkerson's ministry um, and heard his sermons, maybe like me, uh, called Anguish. Uh, he did one called Run. Uh, a, lot of ser- a lot of sermons, even some prophecies about the fall of America. Uh, David Wilkerson has, um, you know, used by God in many ways. So I'm here with, uh, we got uh, Vitaly, Joe, and Kevin over here. Just want to give you guys some uh, behind the scenes here. You know, just um, excited. You know, never been to Times Square Church. See how it goes in here, and my wife and Samantha will be here soon. So we're having a great time, great trip. Um, oh, there they are right there. Get a little, little picture here. The ladies walking out. You know, this has been a great time. I want to share every experience with you guys, and just appreciate your guys' support and prayers. Last night was uh, off the chain. Uh, incredible, incredible time. We um, come on here, get a picture. Here they come. Say hi. There they are. There's the ladies. All rested up, pretty up for church, amen. Sunday's best time. <laughs> We're just loving it, you know, and, and um, give a quick, couple good quick testimonies that you guys did not see yesterday. Uh, particularly, you know, we'll start with Union Square. So we're at Union Square, um, and uh, wow, some of the brothers were preaching. This lady came up to me and said, I want you to talk to my son. His name is Jason. And he, um, he proceeded to tell me that he had been going to a Catholic church for the last year and was trying to find the way, he was trying to find the truth and the life. Jesus Christ, you know. Well, um, he seemed to be, he's a real young guy, you know, and he seemed to be open. Uh, and so I started to share with them kind of the first thing I started with was the problems with the Catholic faith, Catholic church, and uh, kind of worked through a lot of the issues of that. To show him that uh, he didn't want to go in that direction, but he wanted to just be a born again Christian and serve Jesus that way, walking in faith, walking in uh, repentance, you know. And so um, it was really neat, you know. I could see God working on this uh, young man's heart, and you know, I, I talked with him for gosh, I mean, it was a long time, and, and I, it was kind of one of those conversations where I just I felt like I was talking the guy's ear off, you know. but. Uh, but I just said, I said, hey man, is any of this registering with you? You know, I was quoting to him a lot of scriptures and he's giving him my testimony. And he's like, hey man, he's like, just keep going. So like, just, just keep, keep ministering to me, man. I'm, I'm here because I want to learn. I want to, I want to know the truth, man. I don't want to. I could really tell that he was um, unsure that the, the, the Catholicism was the right way, and he wanted somebody to really give him, uh, you know, the truth. And so it was powerful, man. I mean, he didn't accept the Lord right there because. Uh, I told him, hey, look, if you're gonna, if you're really gonna become a Christian, you have to leave the Catholic Church, and he just wasn't ready to do that at that moment. But I could tell that uh, the seeds were planted. The damage was done, folks. Jesus Christ is gonna get Jason. I just know he was gonna get saved. He's gonna get born again. Just pray right now, Heavenly Father. Just pray, touch Jason, Father God. Take the seeds that were planted in my heart yesterday, God, and save Jason. Get him out of the Catholic Church. Father God, just bring him to yourself, bring him to the Lord, bring him to repentance, bring him to faith, bring him to prayer, God, that he would just confess his sin to you, that he would just seek you, and hear straight from you, Holy Spirit, because we know that if he seeks you, he's going to find the truth, that Jesus is sufficient, that Christianity is the truth, Father God, and I thank you for Jason, that conversation that I had with him this morning. in Jesus' name, amen. So, keep him in prayer, uh, you know, that was a powerful, powerful interaction with him that happened um, after I preached. This guy, Robert, too, by the way. I don't know if Robert, you're walking, watching. Robert and his wife, Irma, from Houston, Texas. And Robert uh, reached out to me when he saw that I was coming to New York City. And uh, uh, he's here on vacation with his wife. So he came down to Union Square and just uh, really blessed us with uh, so much encouragement. Really just blessed us, too, with his testimony and sharing about his life and how God's blessed him and saved him. And, you know, I, I told Robert, you know, he was talking about how much he, he sees the virtue in evangelism and, 
you know, he was talking about how God was opening some doors at his church for him to share in the future. I said, well, I said, what if I just gave you the mic today, you know? Could you share today, you know? Something about Jesus. He's like, I don't know about that, Adam. <laughs> you know, I, I kinda, that's a kind of a, a tall order there. And I said, okay, well, we'll see, you know? So I forget who preached, but I, uh, you know, I just said, hey, Robert, come over here. Share something. And man, he just answered the call. And maybe, maybe you guys saw, you know, Robert. I only shared his testimony when he preached, man. That word of God came to him, and man, it was such a blessing. And he had an incredible uh, uh, word that God had given him. I really saw the gift of evangelism and street preaching in him. Now, it's just a God-given thing, you know. And so that was a powerful thing, too, that took place yesterday at Union Square. And uh, Times Square. So we finish up. You know, maybe you guys saw we're preaching out in front of the bleachers. Uh, or Times Square, and uh, we get approached by this young guy. Gosh, what was his name? He had kind of a weird name, uh, different name. But he, uh, he's, 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 he wanted prayer, he wanted deliverance. You know, he really, he was so humble. He was just a different spirit, man. He just, you know, um, he, had, he has weed, you know, because weed's legal here in New York City. And he's like, yeah, I know it's wrong. Like, I know I need to give this up. He's like, I know that I'm going to live for Jesus. I know I can do all things for Christ who prays with me. You know, he just encouraged himself. He just speaking life over himself. Stop. Of course, we're just, we're just encouraging him to repent. And that was a powerful interaction that Joe and I had with him. And, you know, he walked around with us and gave him our information. And it just was a powerful, powerful uh, fruit from our ministry last night at Times Square. It's just great to see people getting touched and their hearts being open. And, the tip of the iceberg, folks. There's so much more that took place so far in this trip. So we're getting ready to go in here to the church. So I just want to give you a quick highlight of what has happened thus far. But I got to get going. God bless you. And I'll put out an itinerary a little bit later about we plan, do plan on being at Coney Island where we're going. Uh, we're gonna get some lunch here after we get out of church and uh, get a couple of the brothers are coming to town, Joseph and Michael. We get together here. We're gonna go get some lunch and then probably head to Coney Island. Huh? Really? 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 God bless you. Appreciate your prayers. Thank you guys so much. God is good. He's moving here in New York City.